Yeah, Donnie's back. It was a nice day taking my dad around to a few places and a little Fozzie bear here for a walk. I'm just out with him now up by uh, Haslam Creek. Yeah, there's a Haslam Lake and Haslam Creek. It's named after my cousin's family, the Haslams. And um, it's just up a couple blocks up from my where my parents live in a trailer park there. So a very nice week hanging out with my dad, listening to all these old stories. Man, I wish I could could have done a lot of that stuff years ago. It was very interesting in the early days of logging here on the island and uh, how they really had to work their butts off to, to do stuff, you know. They didn't have the, the easy machinery and tools that we have now, you know. Everything was done by hand and hard work. Guys were tough and rugged, you know. So living, living in these communities are all over the island. <clears throat> Almost every community on Vancouver Island are basically we're logging cabs and you know fishing fishing uh kind of little towns too right you know like around couch and lake area just down the road here you know there was misachi lake yubo the couch and um oh what else was there anyways it was like every little community was basically a logging camp so every guy we're living in that town the companies had you know bunk houses for them and the shops for the the equipment um that's how they all got started you know and you know they're almost like all like that now and then in a lot of these communities of course the logging camps aren't around anymore it's all contractors that drive up and down the island and all over the place you know there's no there's no living logging camps really on the island anymore there is some you know a few places like uh up in these inlets up 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 island where they have float camps so, and the float camps have like, you know, bunk houses on them and, and the food and everything, right? A lot of my friends work in those places. But majority of loggers now all just travel from town to town, wherever they're working. You know, if they're working in Campbell River, which is two or three hours up island, they drive up there, fall for the day, then drive home again. You know, where years ago they would stay there in, in the bunk houses or whatever it was. Come. So got another dog i better go i'll be right back okay i'm back and a dog just come out of the middle of nowhere and uh sniffed the old fuzz here and it was all good though get the ball bud come on so uh yeah you know i just wanted to talk a bit about that you know about the the way logging was years ago it was a lot of train logging on the island here just unbelievable amount of train logging i got a couple books right now at home my dad gave me which I think I bought him actually about railroad logging on the island shows you all the different railways railways there was everywhere amazing man how much there was that was the way to move the logs in those days that was a lot of work building those tracks and building the systems and keeping the trains going just like it was for the coal here before logging really you know at Lady Smith where I was just at there was built uh, I think like you know by the Dunsmuir family Lady Smith is named after Lady Smith you know the lady of the the house mrs smith um a lot of, lot of lot of history with the coal mining and then the logging days you know now it's just a beautiful community to live in uh even pamela anderson lives there yeah she's got a house there her grandma's house that's where she lives here in lady smith a couple friends of mine went to school with her in courtney anyways uh you know it was just a great week hanging out with dad and be doing a lot more this summer hopefully going to some logging shows and taking them to another go-kart race so if you got old parents like i do look after them you only get one set man so spend as much time with them you can enjoy the stories laugh have some fun donnie walker's out have a great friday good friday tgif again we'll catch you tomorrow probably Keep your saw on the stick it as you're up on the road. And your dog on a leash if he wants to run off. But I got this little beeper thing here with a collar on him. So I make it beep, then he stops and waits for me. So it's a good training thing for a dog if you need something like that. Anyways, have a great day. Bye.